This video will provide a brief introduction to working with the Parameters tab of the Design Point dashboard. We will cover the following topics. Organizing parameters, navigating to associated objects, parameterizing properties, editing or deleting parameters, and updating parameters. First, open the dashboard by clicking the Design Points dashboard icon. On the dashboard, open up the Parameters tab. On this tab, the Parameters table is populated with all of the input and output parameters defined in your study. It shows the values for the design point designated as the current design point. This is the design point shown in the Design Point drop-down menu in the upper right corner of the AIM window. The Parameter table enables you to view organize, and edit your parameters. By default, the table is organized by type, separating the parameters into inputs and outputs. This drop-down menu enables you to specify how the parameters are organized. You can also organize parameters by task or by the specific workflow task in which the parameter was created, by simulation process, for studies with multiple simulation processes, or by task type, by the workflow type of the tasks. Links in the parameter table enable you to navigate to different tasks or objects in your study. You can click on the links in the object column to navigate to the object to which the parameterized property is associated. For example, the parameter P1 was created for the length property of the Geometry Import Source 1 object. You can click on the link to navigate to that object. Now, if your parameters are organized by type, you can also use links in the Task column to navigate to the task containing the parameterized property. For example, parameter P1 was created as part of the Geometry task. You can click on this link to go to the geometry task. Now, let's say you want to create an additional input for the physics task. Let's create a wall boundary condition. To parameterize the heat flow property, you can open the flyout menu and click the Parameterize icon. This property is now an input parameter, as shown by the icon. For inputs, the icon arrow points to the left. If we had created a new output parameter under Results, the arrow of the parameter icon would point to the right instead. Now, when you return to the Design Points dashboard, you can see that the new parameter has been added to the input section of the parameter table. By default, the parameter name is a concatenation of the object name and the property name. In this case, the wall 2 boundary condition and the heat flow energy specification property. To change the parameter name, just click inside the cell and type in the new name. In the parameter table, you can also edit input values. As when changing the name, just click in the cell and enter a new value. With the change, the associated output values go out of date. To update the parameters, click the Update Current Design Point icon. This updates all of the parameters for the design point designated as current, that is, all of the parameters displayed in this table. And finally, you can also delete parameters, both inputs and outputs, from the parameter table. To do so, select the parameters. Here, I'll select one input and one output, and click the Delete Selected icon. This concludes our demonstration of working with parameters on the Parameters tab of the Design Point dashboard. Thank you.